Hi guys, Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluto channel doing paid reviews today. I'm doing paid review 20A27. This is for Steve. 20A27. Quick whisk, whisk, whisk watch check. I'm wearing a paddock, Philippe. 5196. This is my grand classic. Okay, hi Archie. Hope you're doing well. Big fan of the channel. Absolute favorite. Whisk watch personality on YouTube, hands down. I'm 40, 40 years old, have my first kid on the way next month. I'm casually on the dress on my dress watch as my work. Does not require me to get dressed up. I'm casual on my dress as my work doesn't require me to get dressed up. I have a small business in an office environment where it just just me and my coworker. In my current lineup, I've got three watches. Number one. Five five six five two three Archie Maserati Blue, the serial number. Well done. Number two sixteen five seven zero Explorer two Black Dial M. Three one eight six movement, and a Grand Lange Lange and Soon Grand Lange one White Gold Black Dial Wowzers Wowzers Wowzers. Wowzers! I kind of feel like the ship has sailed for me on Rolex after getting the Lange. I've had my fair share of buying and selling other pieces. Double one four zero six zero. That's the ceramics no date sub. One one six five two zero. One one six five two zero. That's the uh, random serial number black. That's the pre ceramic Daytona. 116600, that's the Sea Dweller 4000. Speedmaster, House of Light Man on the Moon, IWC 3717. Jager Le uh Master Ultra Thin Moon, 36mm Date Just Fluted, 1815 Up Down 39mm, plus a few more I can't even remember at the moment, but it doesn't matter. I'm wondering if I should move the two Rolexes I have and the cash difference to add a Paddock 5146. This is about as high as I would go monetorially. I found a 5146J with a slate dial for 24000 full set. Well, uh, should I do this or go with for a different model <clears throat> paddock, such as a Calatrava, where I wouldn't have to put uh, more money out of pocket, or should I just stay put with the Rolexes as I, uh, I got as I know if there are any Rolexes to be had, these are the ones that Archie approves of. PayPal due uh, coming your way. You don't need to make a video. Just your honest opinion in an email reply would be fine. Appreciated. Thanks for the good work. Steve, 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 Steve. Wow. Absolutely wow. Maserati blue dial. And he's got a Explorer 2. Okay, he's got a slightly different one. It's, it's black dial instead of white polar, but it's a three one eight six. Man, I don't, I don't. This is a very interesting, interesting email here. It's got the cogs. The cogs are turning. The cogs are turning. Um, look, what can I say here about this? Um, man, I, I, I've been here myself. Believe you me, I have been here because I had. The Maserati Blue Daytona, uh, the two-tone like you've got, <clears throat> and what did I do? I tell you exactly what I did. I tell you exactly what I do there. Um, what did I do? Well, I had the same problems that you did. And what did I do? What did I do? I sold it. I sold it. I actually swapped my Maserati Blue Daytona and $2,000 for a 5127. That's a Calatrava with the crown guards. Okay, so that's what I did. Um, now, advising you, I gotta be totally honest with you. How much money do you have to put in? I, I don't quite understand because how much do you need to put in? Uh, let's work that out. Let me work that out. I don't, I don't know how much money you got to put in. So you haven't told me the dynamics because that could make it a good deal or a shit deal. But okay, let's let's look at this. 
what would I do? To be totally, completely honest with you, um, they're two different watches. The Lange you have is amazing. And the 5146, it's the 39 millimeter annual calendar. It's sort of the carry on. I got the 5035, which is the 37 mil. This is the bigger, more modern size. It's got the moon face on it. Uh, it's an amazing, it's an amazing, amazing watch. What would I do? What would I do? What would I do? That is the question. What would I do? i got to be totally honest with you. The Maserati Blue Daytona is fucking amazing. It's swank. It's chic. It's fucking beautiful. I miss that every fucking day of the week. The Explorer 2, that's another amazing watch. However, 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 the chance to own a complicated Patek like a 5146, um, <clears throat> I'd fucking do it. I would. I don't know how much money you need to put in. You haven't really, you haven't really told me because I want to know if it's a good deal, but... Uh, Owning a paddock is special. I mean, they, they are. I'm wearing a 5196 at the moment, okay? They're, they're delicate. They're not like a Rolex. A Rolex. I mean, you've got to be careful with, with any of these things. You don't treat them like shit. They're nowhere near. They're a different genre of watch. But personally, as a purist, somebody who loves, I think it's paddock, pussy, and lange. That is it. That is it. I mean, that's the finest watchmaking there is. This is the best of the best of the best. This is the best. Now, you could technically say there are some vintage paddocks worth million dollars. Yeah, of course, that's the next level up. But that's the same DNA as these paddocks today. They are very, they're a much more usable piece. A modern paddock. Um... That's a fucking beautiful thing to have. Would I sell? Okay, I've been there. I've done it. I've done it myself. I, I did sell those things. I basically sold my Maserati blue dial to get a 5127, which is just a simple Calatrava. And I sold my Explorer 2 as a down payment to get this baby. Was it worth it? Do I regret it? You fucking bet it was worth it. Now, that doesn't mean... I've now had to do something that... I'm really embarrassed to admit, but I've bought the shitters. I've got to have a Casio for my jog, and i got a Seiko here if I'm getting a bit sweaty. Okay, so I miss having... I would normally put a fucking Rolex on to do this shit. Okay, that's embarrassing. Okay, I'm the pontiff, it's embarrassing. But the chance to own a paddock, an annual calendar, and a Lange one, fuck, fuck. That's all I can say. White gold, Lange. I think the annual calendar actually looks good in yellow gold. Okay, that doesn't mean to say that the white gold or the rose gold is shit or the platinum shit. No, 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 no. But I actually, I, I don't mind it in yellow. I love yellow gold. I'd do it. I'd do it. Now, that doesn't mean to say that you. I would, down the track, get a Rolex as your, you know, just everyday sort of thing, but... To own a paddock, fuck, fuck, that is an achievement. And I think that's what it is, that's what life is. You, you try these things, how do you find it? Do you enjoy it? Do you love it? What, 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 do, you, what do you think about these watches? And i got to be totally honest with you. To own a paddock is fucking amazing. Fucking amazing. You, 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 you don't understand. To own a paddock, Philippe, the pussies come to you. Your confidence as a man goes through the roof. You actually have cracked the meaning of life. Okay, you have really um, cracked the meaning of of life, okay? Women who wear G-strings are interested in you. 
uh, man, y your life is just up. It just goes up, man. I, I, I don't want to say too much because there's a lot of non-paddock where is there, and I, I don't really want to let the an alumni secrets out. But it's a game changer. You wear a paddock complication. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. Fuck. Come on, man. It's a, it, a chance to own a paddock. I mean, the Maserati Blue Dial, that's fucking beautiful. And the Explorer 2, fuck. It, it hurts. It hurts. I admit it hurts. Tell me the deal. I want to know the deal because you've told me you can get one for 24000 what are they giving you for yours? See, I'd, I'd be inclined to sell mine personally. 5146 isn't that rare. So, you know, I wouldn't just, just be pushed into the deal. They're, they're, I'd, I'd, um, the, the other one I really like is the 5396. I like that as well. But there's nothing wrong with a 5146. 5146 is a superb watch. Superb watch. The chance to own one of those and have a Lang 8. Fuck. That's like having, that's like having a Ferrari and a Lamborghini in the driveway, okay? Now, the reality is, eventually you want to get a, a C-Class Mercedes just to go to the shop and get milk in. But you've got to do what you've got to do to get a Ferrari and a Lamborghini in the driveway. And that's, 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 that's what you've sort of got there. So, pull the trigger, do what needs to be done. I don't know the deal. You didn't give me the pricing. I, you said a couple thousand. I, I don't know what, what are you talking. Aussie dollars, US dollars. What the fuck? You got to give me some more. Um, you got to give me some more details. I don't know. A slate dial. Uh, 5146 J. Lovely piece. Full set. Uh, now, how much cash difference to add? How you're not you're not telling me. See, if you don't tell me, I can't say it's a good deal or a shit deal. But my honest opinion, just check the prices on Chrono. You know, you don't want to sell yours wholesale and buy yours, buy the new one at full retail. You've got to, you've got to try and, you know, work it out a bit. But the chance to own a fucking, a paddock complication. Fuck, fuck, just do it, man. It is Nirvana. It is, there's nothing on it like Earth. Now, that's not to say down the track you won't get a Rolex again. Of course you will. You need that. But, Paddock and Lange. Fuck, who, who has that? That is just so powerful. It punches way above its weight. Do it. Now, I don't know your deal. You haven't told me the deal, okay? But I think seriously, man, man's got to do what a man's got to do. <clears throat> I'd, I'd fucking do it. Uh, <clears throat> no question at all. I would fucking do it. Should I do this or go for a different model? No, nah, nothing wrong with that. 5146 is, is, is beautiful. Uh, beautiful. I, I think you, know, you could go for a, like a simple color trial, but nah, nah. Get the 5146, 5146 and your calendar. It's fucking beautiful. As I said, the 5396, maybe, maybe. But yet again, the 5146 is it's a little bit cheaper and it's it's, it's, it's actually beautiful. 24,000, that's, that's not ridiculous, is it? Is that is that crazy? Is it, that's, that seems pretty good to me. Um, I don't know what... I don't know what the trade on the others is, of course, but um, <clears throat> get the paddock. Pussies will come to you. Job opportunities will open up. Women who wear G-strings and who like experimental sexual practices will come to you. I mean, it's the meaning of life. It's, it's just everything will improve. Okay, it's just, I don't want to say too much because I'll get thrown out of the alumni, but Paddock, Paddock and Lange. Fuck, that is, that is the, that's the two greatest watches. That is it. That is the, that is, that, that is, that is it. That is basically it. Okay, it, it doesn't get better. It doesn't get better. It doesn't get nicer. It doesn't get sweeter. That is it. That is it. That is it. That's it. That's it. So, my advice to you, it's a game changer. It's an absolute game changer. Okay, guys, like, subscribe, tell your friends, put some nasty comments down below, and...
please guys paid reviews that's what keeps me making content without the paid reviews I can't really survive survive Paid reviews, 50 US dollars. If you're struggling, coronavirus, got unemployment, all sorts of problems, make it 25. I'm here to help you through these bad, nasty times. Guys, without you, I wouldn't be here. I need you. I love you. I'm here to tell you what to do horologically. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, and who do I recommend in America? In America, who do I recommend for quality pre-owned wristwatches? David SW, David SW, David SW. Go to davidsw.com. He is the best, the greatest pre-owned dealer in all of the United States of America. David SW, David SW, David SW. Hello. How are you? Hey, not too bad. So, you surviving this coronavirus? And there we go. One of the, the most beautiful <clears throat> Pateks of modern times. A key reference point in Patek history. The 5035. Proudly part of the Archie Luxury Wistwatch Collection. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, once again, Mark Goldberg for Archie Luxury AC3, the Pontiff Satan Deville. I want to sincerely thank you for having sat through this video because I know it was awful, but you know what? You do it for the greater good of humanity. Thank you so much. Now, a couple of quick pieces of homework. Now that you've watched this video, I would like you to hit thumbs up. If you must, hit thumbs down, but if you'd hit thumbs up, I would especially appreciate it. Go ahead and leave a really nasty comment and tell him how awful this content was. But most importantly of all, the entire reason that I am linking up with Archie Luxury in the first place. I am a published author. Let dogs be dogs. Available in bookstores, Amazon, and electronically somewhere near you. Remember, Archie Luxury, he's not just a figment of your imagination. <laughs>